Welcome back to the College Legends 1v1 tournament. Hope everything is well. I'll be bringing you the first round of the big men. Just before we get into this, the only rule change that I have to bring up is that there's going to be no more shoot for the ball. We're just going to check it and, you know, it just it's random. It's up to random chance whoever gets the, the ball first. That's how we're going to do it in the big men tournament because most of these guys can't shoot anyway. But anyway, getting into the highlights. Psycho T gets on the board, tying it up 1-1, one, one, then Kareem Aldujabar comes right back, or Lou Alcinder, whichever one you prefer. Now it's 3-1. to one. Psycho T going with the left, finishes strong over the 7-foot-1 Lou Alcinder, very surprising as Alcinder uses his body there to score, but cannot get that layup to fall. He puts that one short, Tyler Hansbro. Psycho T crosses left. Double pump fake, wow, a crafty move right there, he finishes, he's been sticking pretty strong with Lou Alcindor, but now it's 6-3, he's falling behind just a little bit, but a nice finish, he's surprisingly finishing over one of the best rim protectors of all time, which is very surprising. Psycho T with a crafty layup, under the underneath the basket, goes left, finishes right, and now it's a 5-7 game, back-to-back, -back, you know, crafty, impressive layups, but... Lou Alcindor halts the run a little bit there, scoring 6-8, now it's 7-8. Psycho T still very much in this, surprisingly, as he forces another miss that, you know, that's a very tall order to do, but he's been really sticking strong as he converts a crazy layup right there, but Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with that signature post hook, giving him back the lead. 9-8 now, Psycho T drives the paint, finishes again 9-9, it's anybody's game here. Psycho T really trying for a Cinderella type upset right here, you know. Shades of UMBC coming back as, you know, he makes a beautiful post fadeaway using the glass, but Lou Alcindor gets the lead right back off the offensive miss, but Tyler Hansbro dunking it down right on top of him, but, you know, Lou Alcindor definitely not done yet, converts that layup. Tyler Hansbro with another tough layup, making it 12 all. Sticking strong, but it's tough against Alcindor, who might be the best college player of all time. Now here is Psycho T, cannot make it all 13s, but he corrals the miss, but gets rejected. So now it's still 13 to 12. This has been the longest game of the tournament so far, but Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Lou Alcindor, whichever one you prefer, ends it. 12 to 14, a very impressive showing and fight there by the 16 seed. Now. The winner of that game will face the winner of this game, which is between DeAndre Ayton and Shaquille O'Neal, two number one overall picks in the NBA. As DeAndre Ayton is showing his range early, he's up 4-2. to two. Then he drives on Shaq, showing that he can do it outside and inside. Now it's 5-2. to two. Shaq comes right back with a showing off some finesse from the big guy, but another two-pointer. Shaq's having trouble closing down the perimeter, it seems. But he does convert the layup there, 8-4. to four. He needs to stop, but DeAndre Ayton rattles home the triple. Getting the friendly roll there, it's now 10-4. Aiton very surprisingly making quick work of Shaq here in the first round, but he does get a shot rejected, but he seems to want to come right back at him. He wants to attack again, finishes with the flush over Shaquille O'Neal, 11-4. DeAndre Aiton will move on to play Lou Alcindor in the next round. Now, this is the 5-12 and 12 matchup. Tim Duncan, the 5 seed versus Patrick Ewing, the 12 seed as he... With a quick trigger finger right off the exchange, 2-1 to one after Patrick Ewing's long jump shot is good. 2-2 two two game, Tim Duncan beginning similar to DeAndre Ayton as he makes two twos to begin the game. Tim Duncan, Mr. Fundamental, showing it right there, showing off his fundamentals with the bank shot. Meanwhile, Pat Ewing needs to get something to go here. A spin move after a behind-the-back move, and that's good. Good defense there, shutting off the... Baseline is that seems what you know Tim Duncan wants as he goes right back to it. Good defense by Ewing, but even better offense by Tim Duncan as he finishes through the tough defense. A similar spot from the jump shot he hit before Patrick Ewing that time. It's a two-pointer. Foot was not on the line that time, so now it's seven to five. Finishing strong against Tim Duncan, seven to six. Another three. Patrick Ewing was feeling it, but it rimmed out that time. Seven to six. Ewing's on a four to nothing run. Ewing trying to prevent Tim Duncan from scoring, but Duncan has such an array of moves, but he does block him there. But Duncan shows some hustle, does not give up on the play as he regains possession after the block and drives past him, finishing with the right. 
Duncan, another offensive rebound. Cannot get that one to fall, but that is two offensive rebounds in one possession. That must be a backbreaker for Ewing. Speaking of Ewing, he's got his back against the wall. Cannot make a defensive stop there. Tim Duncan will go on to face the winner of Blake Griffin, the four seed, and Hank Gathers, the 13 seed, and that is in this game right here. Hank Gathers forces a miss for Blake Griffin's first possession. He spins, shows him how it's done. A beautiful finish for the athletic wing, but speaking of Athleticism, Blake Griffin comes back and answers back with a two-handed jam. Hank gathers up two to one, checks the ball, quick trigger finger for Blake Griffin as that one hits back rim and in. Hank gathers with another explosive finish. That's two in a row there, now it's five to three. Blake Griffin tries to tie it up, cannot get the friendly roll. Hank gathers, goes back on the perimeter, clears the ball. Goes left, spins right, back to his left, can do it with both hands. He is southpaw, so he does prefer that left hand. 7-3, to three, but Blake Griffin showing that he can do it with the left hand as well, 7-4. to four. Gathers finishing again, 8-4. to four. The southpaw also gets it going with the right hand as well. Another layup for Hank Gathers, but Blake Griffin's not out of it yet, as that 3 is perfect. Cannot get the friendly roll, Hank Gathers on the layup. 9-6 game, Blake Griffin needs to get back in the game, and he does. Now it's 10-8. Moving along in the game, but Hank Gathers does finish off Blake Griffin before he... Hank Gathers will face Tim Duncan in the next round. Now here is Carmelo Anthony and Emeka Okafor. Emeka Okafor gets us underway. Carmelo is the 6th seed as he pulls it right in his face, making it 2-1. Later, it's now 2 up. Carmelo with another 2-pointer, and he also blocks Emeka Okafor. Okafor, the 11th seed, trying to upset one of the better isolation players in college basketball history. 4-2 as Carmelo just isolates on Okafor there, gets the basket, but Okafor answers back. Carmelo gets his shot rejected, but cannot get it rejected two in a row. As that is a 6-4 game now, as Okafor does some work in the post, 6-5. Carmelo pulls up right in his face, that's good. 8-5, Carmelo's got the inside and outside game working today as he... Also finishes there with the offhand. Okafor gets the friendly bounce there on the layup. Carmelo, game point. That's good. 11 to 6. Carmelo makes quick work of the 11 seed Okafor. Now he will go on to face either Wilt Chamberlain or Ralph Sampson. Ralph Sampson, the 14th seed, facing Wilt, the 3 seed. I said in the intro video that if there was anybody that could upset Wilt, it would be Ralph Sampson, but he does get a shot blocked, does regain possession, put it in. 3-2 game here early as Ralph Sampson doing a little bit too much dribbling picks up the ball a jump shot there you don't see that too much from him but he does convert that gets the bounce on the layup attempt 5-4 to four. he's sticking with Wilt early that long wingspan might be you know one of the reasons why he's sticking with him and that's good 7-6 to six now here early after three layups in a row make that four layups in a row for Ralph Sampson 8-6 to six ball game now it's 9-6 as he's on a 5 nothing run here. Wilt does halt the run there with the impressive little layup. Two in a row now for Wilt as he makes it 9-8. He's going to have to make a comeback here if he wants to avoid the upset bid. But Rob Sampson gets some work done on the offensive glass. Making it 10-8, now 10-9. Wilt with an impressive post hook. Rob Sampson looking for the win here. Gets caught up with too much dribbling again. But he pulls it. No good. That one rims in and out. Wilt might have uh, had his heart skip a beat there once he saw that go up. Because that definitely looked good as he's surveying the court. Crosses over. Maybe once the baseline instead he pulls up from about 5 feet. Gets that to go. Now 10s. And somehow he avoids the block there. 11 to 10. Ralph Sampson. Yes. Making it 11 all. Will Chamberlain spins, pulls up, that's good. 12 to 11 here. Ralph Sampson trying to tie the game, trying to keep this going. He leaves the layup short. Will Chamberlain has is in the driver's seat. He's looking for the win here. He's attacking using his power and muscle, and he finishes off Ralph Sampson, making the comeback bid successful and avoiding the first round exit. That definitely, in my opinion, would have been the craziest upset in the tournament so far, but he avoids it. Now here's the 7th seed Bill Russell versus the 10th seed Greg Oden. Bill Russell on a hot start, gets his first three baskets to fall. He's up 3 nothing, but Greg Oden finally gets on the board there. Russell may make, make some quick work at this pace on Greg Oden as he 
pulls a double spin move in the post gets that to go but now it's two to four as Greg Oden finishes over Bill Russell nice up and under move gets Bill Russell to bite on that you don't see him leave his feet too often for that kind of stuff but now it's six to three as Bill Russell answers back with a layup of his own four to six Greg Oden now backing down dunks all over Bill Russell making it seven to four now now it would be later seven to five as Greg Oden gets the block trying to keep his ground but three times a charm for Bill Russell as he puts it in he's trying to hold his ground but he needs to grab some rebounds as Bill Russell makes him pay for reaching you don't see that too often from Bill Russell a dunk like that but he might have learned something from uh, some of the other younger guys playing in the tournament as he finishes off Greg Oden 11 to 6 last matchup of the first round for the big men is Larry Bird the two seed versus the 15 seed Michael Beasley him being the 15 seed does not stop him from getting on the board first however but Bird quickly comes back ties the game now it's two to one Beasley up Bird leaves that layup well short but he corrals it puts it in two up Beasley trying to spin step back that's good very awkward looking shot there but he still gets it to go somehow as Larry Bird three up now Beasley trying to hold his own against possibly the best one-on-one -on -one player of all time. Beasley for the lead. That's good. 5-4 to four here. Now it would later be 5-5. Five to five. Beasley tries another three in the corner. Similar spot, but Larry Bird tips that and immediately drives right past him, putting on the Jets. Very impressive blow by right there. As now it's 6-5. to five. Later be 6-6. Six, six. Very crafty finish right there. Now he's pulling up from way downtown. Bird, 9-7 to seven now. Trying to separate from the 15th seat a little bit. Beasley misses that layup badly. A little bit of rim protection right there for Larry Bird, but eventually Michael Beasley finishes. Bird game point. A two will win it. That's good. 11-8. Bird holds off the 15 seed. Now we will take a look at our bracket to wrap things up. Cinder will play DeAndre Ayton. Tim Duncan against Tim, uh, excuse me, Hank Gathers. Carmelo will face Wilt, and Bill Russell will face Larry Bird. A little bit more competitive than the first round of the guards, but I'll have the second round of the guards coming at you soon. Stay tuned.